As a former child, I respect very much what we are endeavoring to accomplish today. But we always have to remember that it is not simply enough to do the right thing. We must do the right thing the right way. And again, that is the purpose of this debate. Much of what we hear outside of these walls tends to mute the serious discussion that we have. I know that following this debate there will be those ads or others that will say that Republicans do not like kids. I assure you Republicans like kids and not just medium rare with a side of fries. We do care about the future of children. But it is a comprehensive, holistic approach to the care of children which we discuss too little in this body. It is my belief that what we should have done to truly put poor kids first was that from the first moments of the first hundred hours, this should have been the first bill we could have done. Instead, other bills were passed and billions were spent. We have seen appropriation bills come through this chamber repeatedly where billions are spent and there was no talk of putting kids first and helping poor kids have health insurance. And now today we reach the point where the only way we can help poor children is to raise taxes on the American people. This is not a prioritization of children and their health care. Gentlemen's time has expired. May I have from Ohio. 10 more seconds, David. May I ask for 30 more seconds? Uh, I yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. Gentleman is recognized for 30 seconds. I am prepared to accept the majority when they say that they have, the second time around, is the charm and they have fixed access of illegals to this program. I am prepared to be concerned about poor kids and kids who are in the margins. But I do ask them to reconsider raising taxes because we do not want to see one day where our children grow up to be the healthiest people in the unemployment line. I yield back my time. Gentleman yields back his time. The gentleman from Ohio. No. 